Miss <laughs> Katie here from Career Tech High Academy Charter School in Agate Guam and I just want to show off some of my students work because I'm so proud of them. The student store attended Mental Ben mural that they did with me, um, other work that they did where we focused on um, creating images that promoted our culture, peace, addressing issues in society. Like I'm just so proud of them and I love them. Even though sometimes some of them can be a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I love these kids. They're so awesome and I'm so grateful to work here with them. I also started this mural for the traditional navigation class that was to be used as an educational tool for the navigation students and I had some of my really good art students help with this project and it was awesome. Oh yeah, so I definitely pushed myself to exhaustion. Like doing this, I stayed up for hours, countless hours of labor, and even though I said this project is supported in part by the grant that I applied for, I actually don't have any of that money yet, and I kind of just did this all out of my pocket and in my free time, which I really don't have much of, but I'm so proud of myself and my students, and I'm so, so, so happy with how it turned out. So I'm here with Salab, our master navigator, who um, teaches the navig traditional navigation class here at Kurita Kai Academy Charter School with Paka, who's a practice, and he's going to share some of the things that they've been doing and what the plans are. I just win. <laughs> you win? You he's playing his game. What's your favorite game there? Mm, no, the, the pool. Oh, the pool. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so um, share a little bit about what you've done with the students in the uh, traditional navigation class. Yeah, now we're just uh, starting our navigation school here. But we're not yet done with our classroom. Mm -hmm. We need to have a local house for classroom as we teach the traditional. Like uh, here? Living. Yeah. Oh, the, the traditional house, like yeah, the hut. Like this one. Yeah, like that. that's a uh, hut. A big one for bringing a canoe. This is a small one just to cook food for. Uh, That's all high. The, yeah, Taha and whatever that we used to do a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what we're trying to do navigate. Uh, sailing the bay here, we're working on uh, a couple of uh, small canoes, maybe five of them that kids they can be set in the bay, mm -hmm. and two of the boys that can be set there to go to the side panel. I learned how to navigate, so uh, by next year, we will have our classroom up, we will have a class out and there. And it will be out here. Yes, that's going to be our the classroom. That's awesome. And that's also the classroom on the ocean. Yeah, that's a big classroom. <laughs> that's the big there. classroom. <laughs> the canoes and uh, learn how to flip it back up, bring back the the parts of the boat and put it back and sail it wow. continue sailing instead amazing. of just abandoning one, amazing. one boat. And this is the only school on Guam that's teaching This is navigation. the only school, I would say, um, in the whole world that uh, it teaches a traditional way 
Wow. <laughs> oh, in the, yeah, in the actual school. Because the other, um, they're, yeah. like in the Marshall Islands, they have um, schools, but they're specifically for navigation and it's outside the public school. Yeah, outside the public. It's outside. This is the only public school uh, in the world. <laughs> That's so crazy yeah. <laughs> that we know of, right? The only public school in the world that we know of that actually has traditional navigation as class. And how are they going to use this as a career afterwards? Um, uh, what do you mean they're gonna use? Uh, like, um, what I know what you guys were saying about tourism, so that's oh, yes, yeah. yes. Um, well, when, uh, when they some of them they will be graduating with the uh, you know, professional appraising, appraising of this boat. Oh, they yes, will use it for tourist boat here, like mm -hmm. take care of the tourists. Mm -hmm. They will be the captain, they will be the crew, and yeah. they just as students. That's awesome, and they will do the you know, traditional way of sailing. They yeah, don't have to buy gas, oil, it's only a wing. Mm -hmm. Take them out and bring them in and then that's it for the day. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so happy that this is happening. I'm so proud of you and our students in school. This is something that I'm definitely grateful for and to see. Yeah. And thank you so much for sharing this. Thank you this. very much. <laughs> uh, when did you guys start doing this? canoe here? Uh, this canoe, I was working on it 2016 when I left uh, Guam to mm -hmm. Saipan. So I come back, I, I bring it on from a Talavovo to continue on it. There's one more in Talavovo. Mm -hmm. Then when this one done, I will bring down the other one to continue uh, That's awesome. uh, finishing them and uh, so the students can use for uh, learning how to sail on it. What have the students helped you do with regarding this one? Uh, the students are helping me with the splash guard. Uh, we were just working on the splash guard right now. The, but when they take it uh, back home to put some glue on it because it's dark, and we will put it up for people to battle on it this Friday. Oh, nice. This coming Friday, they're going to battle on it. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. And maybe <laughs> we will see that this month we're going to sail on it. Ah, I can't wait. This Friday, so this Friday. This Friday, we're gonna battle. Maybe not with the splash card, but the but Oh yeah. man, I was gonna go to DMV this Friday, but never mind, I'll cancel that. <laughs> this Friday. Are you battling? The fire alerts are good to move, Mr. Abu, they are going to change us all over you. This is the southern pass. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. Mr. Abu. Okay. That's all the knowledge. <laughs> I need Google Map the Star app. <laughs> I need the app. This is in Satawalis. How do you say Satawalis? Satawalis. And then um, where is Sato on this map? Where Sato Ali's is is part of? Oh there. Okay. So can you show? Pola. This is the birthplace of uh, Pola. This is the birthplace of navigation. That's where the, the Quran gave the princess the knowledge. Wow. The Pola is right underneath. So a lot of people from Sato and Pola, what these people are known for seafaring still, actually all around. Yeah. That's where it started. That's amazing. It's a special place. Maybe one, one day it will be and we will put a name of the stars. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, and then uh, can you show how far you navigated? Here in Micronesia, how far? In Micronesia, I don't know. I cannot see. From Japan to Palau. Dang. That's crazy. So he's, he's actually, he's tried all this area right here, but his last one, when they went to the rural dangerous uh, storm, was from Wait, so here's Saipan. So you went. Yeah, there we go up all the way down. You went from Saipan. So they went down this way. They came, <laughs> they came this way. All this way. is my Felicia. Yeah? Uh, How uh, many miles is that? Saipan, down here, they went to. This is not uh, uh, Palau, somewhere here. Over there. Yeah. Like, all the way to the left. That's so scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Palau. So Saipan, this is two Saipan somewhere up here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we still live from here down here. Oh my god. And usually when uncles are trying to last car, they come this way. Did you almost die? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's 2016. I I said to Palau, it's not only one time. That's the trip I, I got sick, 2016. 
but most of the trip I enjoy. From most of the trip. Just that one little time you almost died. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. What year was the one with National Geographic when the guy recorded? Well, that's 2011. When we sailed from Palau to my island. Oh, wow. Well, we just arrived From Palau to where? To okay. Sato. Wow. I think they were, they actually were selling, they were in this bathroom, I think it was Typhoon. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's awesome. We're so, we're so blessed to have you and Paka here. That's yes, amazing. Thank you. Other art that I did recently was working as a body artist, designer, and um, costuming artist for the Guina Hata Photo Collective project for this exhibit that is currently up at DFS right now. And oh my god, it was just so amazing to be part of this and to do some amazing body art on these amazing local Chamorro models. It was awesome. Our team was spearheaded by Vince Rages and Steve Hardy, the photographer, and wow, we put together some amazing photos with these models using our culture, you know, in their fit, in their design, and giving like a modern twist. It was awesome. It was also really awesome to once again work with Selop, um, our master navigator at the school that I work at, who showed me how to do a star chart map and I painted this on the back of our model Lorenzo who actually was apprenticing as um, a navigator a traditional navigator way back when I used to be friends with the retail group and hang out with them I mean I'm still friends with them but when I actually used to hang out with them and it was so awesome seeing everything come together where he's wearing um Sina Greg's jewelry he made out of spondylus and Leah's weavings like it was just amazing so my dog is like totally covered in paint as you can see <laughs> but um yeah this photo shoot turned out so fun and I kind of got flu like goosebumps seeing this come to life it was awesome And lastly, I had to take our photographer, Steve Hardy, down to Fua Point, the point of creation in our legend of Guam, where he took some photos for one of the photos in the Guina Hata exhibit. And I was in charge of taking him down and watching our sons, my sons and his sons. The night before the Guina Hata exhibit, I actually stayed up painting this dress because I'm super extra like that. <laughs> <laughs> again, 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 again. Because it was cut. There you go. Better. Okay, action. All right, perfect. Free shopper DFS Guam for their work uplifting and promoting local artists and businesses and commending them for their efforts in promoting Chamorro culture during Mass Chamorro.
beautiful dog. And those hats, you did the hats too, right? Oh my god, weaving mask. That's so beautiful. to bed. I have been up editing this video that I'm not even done with yet. I'm gonna end it with this, but first I'm gonna say art is definitely work. Creating requires so much energy. Especially when I do it. I feel like I go over and beyond, and a lot of people have told me that. And I really wish I did it sometimes, but it's just what I do. Well, every day I've been arting, I'm so blessed because I have three jobs where I'm using my artistic skills. I teach art. I do gigs. Or is it artistry? Or we go to tired face paint, do body art. And a jaqua decorating balloons. Sometimes we also run photo booths and stuff. And we have gigs like every single week, which is amazing because we make good money for that. And then, oh god, brain is so slow right now. Oh, and then my cohabitor at work. And uh, now I get more. I got more work to do because I and my two sisters got picked. To represent Guam for Fest Pack, and I'm so excited, but also kind of overwhelmed. But it's okay, cause you know I'm just also a single mom with four kids and the house to take care of and stuff. But you know my baby daddies do co-parent with me, and Josh comes over a lot to help and stuff. So you know our our youngest is like so young, he needs us there, but um, he needs us to co-parent. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Also, just a lot that is going on in life, like a lot that I don't really share, but well, for one, um, one thing that is still on my heart is, you know, my niece, Naya, still fighting for her, still praying for her to be united with her mother, my best friend, Bruna, my sister, Bruna, best friend and sister. Uh, that's been incredibly heartbreaking, but good news. My sister does have a lawyer now, so things are getting better. Um, just a lot of other stuff, like the inflation on this island due to the influx of military settlers. Um, also, the government is thinking about closing schools, including my daughter Malia's public school, OMS, which was being considered. Hopefully they don't, but I went to a public meeting just two days ago and um, one of the terrifying things that was mentioned was that the military is already considering to take over the facilities once they close the schools for us like they, they're going to close the government is going to finalize what schools they're going to close our public schools for our local kids and the military is planning to take it over fix it up and use it for themselves and this is just another shitty 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 thing that comes with colonialism and capitalism and the greed that we live with where education is not a number one priority in healthcare. Like education and healthcare and our community should be number one but it's just not here. It's really sad. Which is why I just want to keep fighting, keep 
creating, keep arting, and keep losing fucking sleep every night. Like, I average at the most five hours of sleep a night, and sometimes we less. Like right now. But it's okay. Because you do it for love. And I actually have to go get ready in five minutes to go take my kids to school. And I have a slip. Kicks, that's what coffee is for. One love.